You know the feeling you get when your strategy is giving you buy and sell signals, you're following the rules to the letter and taking those trades, but the market just keeps stopping you out again and again. If this sounds familiar, this is a high chance that your strategy lacks a really good volatility indicator that could have prevented the majority of those losers from happening. Volatility is very important because it indicates that the market is highly active, which means that it's easy for buyers and sellers to communicate and execute transactions. Similarly, when a security is traded less actively, its volatility is considered low. Although there are plenty of volatility indicators available on the TradingView platform, around 90% of them are quite bad at spotting the times when the market has a high or low level of volatility. In this video, I will give you my new top two volatility indicators that will eliminate a significant number of false signals given by almost any strategy. Let's begin. Okay, in the second place, we've got an indicator called volatility fight. But before we add it to the chart, let's add a regular SSL channel indicator uh, just to show you how many false signals that volatility indicator can eliminate. The SSL channel is a very simple buy and sell indicator. Every time the red line crosses the green line upwards, this is a signal to sell. And when the green line crosses the red line upwards, this is a signal to buy. As you can see, the indicator issues quite a lot of false signals. So if you're blindly following the signals issued by this indicator, you're going to lose a lot of money. In order to fix this, let's add our volatility fight indicator to the chart and see how well it eliminates all these false signals. So volatility fight indicator by Shuttle Club. This indicator looks for the predominance of bullish or bearish trading volume on a chart by dividing the trading volume into two parts bullish volume and bearish volume. This indicator is suitable for any instrument that is able to work on any time frame. The volatility fight indicator should be used as an auxiliary indicator that tells you who is currently prevailing in the market, bulls or bears. When there is a predominance of bulls on a chart, a green triangle appears and the histogram is highlighted in green. When bears become in control, a red triangle appears and the histogram is highlighted in red as well. In the indicator settings, there is a smoothing to reduce false signals and highlight the flat zone by specifying a percentage at least which should be the difference between the force of the bullish and bearish volatility. If the difference between the volatility force is less than the specified one, by default it's 15, the zone is considered flat and is displayed in gray on the histogram. If you set the percentage to zero, the flat zones will not be highlighted, but there will be much more false signals since the indicator becomes very sensitive when the smoothing percentage decreases. You can play with the settings and find the best one Ones that work for you. Okay, now let's actually understand when a long or short signal issued by the SSL channel is confirmed by the volatility indicator. A sell signal is confirmed only when we have the volatility histogram in red color and below the zero level. On the other hand, a bullish signal is confirmed only when we have the volatility histogram in green color and above the zero level. If the histogram is gray color, at the time the indicator issues a buy or sell signal, the signal automatically becomes invalid. All right, now let's actually see how many of these false signals the indicator got eliminated. As you can see, the indicator eliminated 100% of false signals. This is a really good result. To be honest, I did not expect that, but yeah, the volatility fight indicator is doing an insanely good job. Obviously, 
I have to mention that the indicator eliminates some of the good signals as well, but this is just the way it is with volatility indicators. So you can't really do anything about that. But I myself, I'd rather to eliminate some good signals as well, but have no bad signals at all. So yeah, traders definitely give this indicator a try and I'm sure it's going to be making you a lot of money long term. If you want to trade crypto on one of the best crypto exchanges platform out there, I highly recommend to check out Bybit. It has one of the lowest fees out there, lots of good features. I talked about it previously, especially if you're a beginner. I highly recommend to watch my tutorial on Bybit, but it doesn't matter if you want to trade on other platforms, it's going to work out for you as well. The link for that video is down in the description. But if you want to take even more benefit out of trading on Bybit, you have a chance of winning up to $30,000 of a miss box by just signing up into Bybit and by using my affiliate link down in the description you have an extra chance of winning an extra five thousand dollars worth of usdt so don't miss this chance all you need is just to sign up do your kyc procedure deposit at least 100 usdt and start trading on Okay, now let's move on to the other indicator, which is called the Squeeze Index by Lux Algo. But before we add it to the chart, let's first add a regular super trend buy and sell. Let's pretend that this is your first confirmation indicator and based on its signals, you enter long and short trades. Now let's see how many of those signals would have resulted in loses. Okay, we can see that we've got quite a few of them. So in order to improve the quality of these signals, let's add our second volatility indicator to the chart. The squeeze index aims to measure the action of price being squeezed and is expressed as a percentage with higher value suggesting prices are subject to higher degree of compression. Price being squeezed referred to the action of price being compressed with a tightening area. Price in the tight area logically indicates a period of stationarity. And these are the exact times when we don't want to be entering the trades. Notice when the line of the indicator crosses above the AD level, the market is usually experiencing a sideway momentum. In the input section, you can play with the conversion factor and the length. This way, you can make the indicator more or less sensitive. So based on the signals given by this indicator, we can only take the buy and sell positions when the light is below the 80 level. Now let's see how many of these fake signals that the indicator got eliminated. Overall, I must say the squeeze index has done a really good job. As we can see, we've only got two fake signals left. But most importantly, the indicator does not eliminate a lot of winning trades. Okay, traders, I hope you enjoyed these amazing indicators I shared with you today. If you could spend just one second of your precious time and like this video, I would appreciate that a lot. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And by turning on the notification bell, you're going to be the first to be informed when I'm uploading a new video, which I'm doing on daily basis. And please share my videos with your friends who are keen to know all about this mystery world of trading. By the way, if you're looking for really good trading strategies, make sure to check this playlist right here. And until next time,